Eden Lifestyle, Powerful Stories, Real Healing Results. Friday morning, I got up to work, took me a shower. Uh, I felt kind of funny. I told my wife, you see my face kind of funny? She didn't even realize that it was kind of funny. And then I went to work, I picked up my container, I was headed to Georgia. Around 8.30 in the morning, I feel my face, my left side face numb. I called them up, I called my daughter-in-law, she's a RN told me to go to the hospital and, uh, and all of a sudden I thought it was a minor stroke but I called my dispatcher to because Saturday I was gonna work and I told her to cancel my uh, my load for Saturday and uh, she did my kids went and picked me up at the yard they took me to the hospital I waited for, I registered and everything. I waited for half an hour, they took me in. They run some tests on me and everything. They put me in the the tube. The, they found out it wasn't a stroke. It was a, a bell palsy on the face. It happens to one in 5,000 people. They run tests and everything. They put me needles, all of that stuff to drain out blood. They put uh, insulin on my stomach. That's how it happened, because uh, my diabetes was too high and, and uh, my blood pressure. So all of a sudden, my wife and my, my other daughter was gonna come over here to New York. But my daughter canceled her flight, so instead it was me. But I was gonna come over here to go vacation, take it easy. We came here on a Saturday. So I enjoyed Sunday, so I ate, I ate everything I could, the junk food, and Monday we slept, and then in the morning we woke up at 6. So they were checking my numbers, my diabetes and everything, and they were going to hide. After that they did me, uh, no, we went for a walk first, and then after walk we had breakfast, breakfast, and then uh, after that, we started doing the cleanse. Everything, the, every time we went to do a, a, a therapy, they always check your temperature and everything, if everything went good. I, have an older bro I had an older brother that he died from cancer. He didn't get cured. Uh, my mother died when I was two. I had a, my father died when I was nine. My sister that raises up, uh, she had cancer and just passed away about three years ago. And uh, I guess I'm gonna be safe. I never read the Bible. It's the first time, I guess, uh, I read the Bible. We had the Bible study. When I drive, my wife bought me a Bible, but I have it on the top cabinet of my truck. I don't even. I haven't even seen it for a while. So now here, I read a couple of paragraphs uh, I kept I kept mumbling but I still got it through through the whole course every morning every every morning and every afternoon and, every, and uh, now I'm doing good For all of you truck drivers you better watch this video and uh, stop eating all that junk food it ain't no good you might as well eat greens greens is better that's what I've been eating greens and eat my and take a walk you, you gotta walk at least two times a day, and uh, and uh, it'll keep you your your blood blood pressure down and your sugar level down.
Drew was 276 when I got here. A couple of days more, it went down to all the way to 89. I, I got rescue me on this too, and I thank for him. Everything that he done for me, my wife too, treat me nice. You can't find these people anywhere.